Hi there. Thanks for stopping by Old Smoke and Steve's today. We got a good one on the lineup today. We're going to be smoking up a, a boneless Boston pork butt. Normally I get bone in, but we happened to catch this on sale for $1.99 a pound. Uh, so we went ahead and got the boneless. So we're going to give that a try. And uh, we're going to be smoking it up on my uh, new Rectech uh, Bullseye. Uh, it's a new smoker grill that Rectech came out with, and uh, I've done four or five cooks on it and fell in love with this thing already, but this is going to be my first uh, semi-long smoke. So we're going to give it a try and uh, see what it's like. Uh, now I did go ahead and eject this uh, Boston butt. Uh, I'm going to include the uh, recipe in the uh, description under the video. And uh, you can either inject or not inject. Uh, everybody has their own preference. Some don't like to inject, some do. Uh, that's the beauty of barbecuing. Uh, you can do whatever you want and mix it up if you want. So it's all good uh, no matter what you do. But uh, I already got this thing injected and I'm using this uh, new uh, rub that I got. It's called Dizzy Dust. Okay, it's supposed to be good on uh, pork. So uh, we're going to give that a try, see how that turns out. And uh, we're going to leave that uh, uh, injected uh, uh, butt in the uh, fridge overnight. And we're going to pull it out in the morning and get to smoking. And uh, after it's done, we're going to be doing a taste test. And you don't want to miss that. At least I don't. So uh, be sure to hang around and uh, we'll get up early in the morning and get to smoking. Okay, it's smoking day. It's the next morning, and uh, that uh, pork butt's been in the fridge overnight, getting all happy and ready to go. And I'm gonna go out and uh, get that bullseye uh, turned on, get it up to temperature, then we're gonna get to smoking. Okay, we got the bullseye up to 225 now, and uh, I already got the uh, pork butt on here. So I've uh, got the temperature probe in there, so we're just going to close her up and let her smoke. Okay, that pork butt's been on there about uh, five hours now, and it got up to about 154, and it seems to have uh, stalled out at 154. Uh, a lot of this meat, uh, it'll stall. Uh, it may stall for a half hour, it may stall for an hour, two hours, three hours, you just don't know. So, uh, you know, we're getting hungry around here and I don't wanna wait two or three hours for the stall. So I went ahead and wrapped it in uh, aluminum foil and I'm gonna get that temperature of the meat up to about 170. Uh, then I'm gonna take that foil off and uh, uh, let it smoke on up to 203. So uh, uh, let's wait till it gets up to about 170 and then we'll take that foil off and uh, let it continue to smoke. Okay, uh, I unwrapped that uh, pork butt at 170 and uh, thinking that was just fine, but uh, it happened to stall out again at 175. So I rewrapped that uh, uh, pork butt up and uh, we're gonna try to get through this stall thing and uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. We're getting mighty hungry around here. Uh, that stall, uh, that's, pretty normal for a piece of meat. Uh, it may stall once, it may stall twice, uh, it may stall for one hour, two hours, three hours, we just don't know. But uh, that stall is normal. Uh, what's happening is uh, the fibers of that meat is breaking down to make that meat a little more tender for us uh, during that stall. So uh, that's what's going on and uh, we're gonna wait this thing out and see what happens. So don't go anywhere. We still got this taste test to do at the end here, so I'm really looking forward to that and uh, try that new rub out, see what that's like, and uh, see how this bullseye is going to turn out on a smoke. So hang around. Meantime, we're just going to kick back here, let this thing smoke, and let that meat get up to temperature, and uh, we're just going to sip on a cold one here and uh, try to relax and get through all these hunger pains. So uh, let's let her smoke away. 
Okay, this pork butt's up to 203. Let's go ahead and take a peek. Oh yeah, look at that baby. That's some nice meat candy on that. So then we're gonna drag this inside and let it rest for a little bit and uh, then get it pulled. Okay guys, we got that pork butt pulled inside here. Got her up to 203, pulled it inside. She smoked for about nine hours. So guys, if you're having guests over and planning on eating at a certain time, uh, you may want to rethink it uh, when doing a pork butt or pork shoulder. Uh, it's kind of got a mind of its own and um, the stall, you don't know what it's going to do. So uh, you may want to plan ahead and cook it ahead and maybe warm it up or uh, just allow yourself plenty of time. But anyway, let's let this thing rest for a few minutes and uh, we'll get it pulled and uh, see what she tastes like. Okay, here it is. It's a beauty. It's looking mighty good. Got some nice bark, bark uh, formed on it, as I like to call it, meat candy. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing shredded, pulled apart, and see how it does. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Okay, it's time. It's time for the taste test. Got me a little piece pulled off here. I don't know whether you can tell or not, but it's got a nice little smoke ring. Nice little meat candy on it. We're going in. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This pork butt is nice and juicy, and that uh, rub that I put on there, it's really good. Got a little bit of sweetness. Really makes that pork good. Guys, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.